They're hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? There's money everywhere. There's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the name. I'm on here right now with my two cousins. Mm. My name is Casino, <clears throat> this is PJ, and this is Domino. Yo. All right, so uh, I wanted to do this video because I honestly have no idea what they're going to say. By the way, guys, the camera is what we're looking into, not the screen. Just in case I bet, 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 bet. All right, so um, I have no idea what they're going to say. They have no idea what we're going to talk about. So I just want to preface this by saying I'm bringing them here because they're guys, they're alpha males. <laughs> in case you don't know what that is. I'm on Mega Mail, you know what I'm Yeah, you see, Omega, yeah. yeah. You cute all, you know what I'm saying? Big cute. So, um, but these guys are independent, no kids, right? Nah, no kids. No nah. kids. Um, college educated, <clears throat> entrepreneurs, you know, all kinds of things. Um, so I wanted to see what these guys would be looking for in a potential mate. Because, you know, believe it or not, women are actually out here looking for guys like you guys. Uh, no kids, uh, good credit, entrepreneurs, uh, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, um, college educated, um, what is a play football yeah. overseas, <clears throat> won championships, athlete. all of that. You know, he's a, a box. boxer. So, sure. you know, these guys can handle themselves. <clears throat> you know, this is what nice. women say that they want. That's what they tell me that they say that they are looking for. You know, they make a decent amount of money, you know, we're going to get into their they funds, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I know for a fact that they would be in the 10 percentile, in the top 10 percent, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Sure, so, sure. so women, y'all say y'all want this. This is what it is. And uh, let's find out what these guys are interested in. Mm -hmm. What kind of woman would... Let's start with Domino. Domino, <laughs> what kind of woman would you be interested in? Uh, and I'm hoping he says something that gets him in trouble. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, he's trying to set me up. All right, listen, so me, myself, I'm a man of very high standards. Okay. I don't require a lot, but, you know, I do, I do stand on certain morals. So I believe in an acronym called FBI. If y'all don't know what that is, that's feminine, beautiful, and intelligent. intelligent. Yeah, well, you, you know it. For the man. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't for the man. Nah, this ain't that. This ain't that. But look, you know, we believe in that acronym. Well, I believe in it more so. Yeah. And I feel like you should be all three as a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should be feminine, beautiful, and intelligent. Okay. You know what I mean? If you lack any one of them, you know. What, kinda, what is feminine to you? Feminine, you know, nurturing is what a nurturer is. A nurturer is a feminine as a woman. You know, you, know, you got to give to give birth. To, you know, life to life. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, feminine, beautiful. Of course, I can't talk to them, but bad shit only. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I have my own. Be bad. Have, yeah, right. You know, I have my own. I have my standards and my preference. But okay, and intelligent. And intelligent. Does that mean educated? What does uh, it mean exactly? So when I say intelligent, I mean as far as like you don't have to be so academically, you know, intelligent. You know, even though I, I would like that, you know, I would like a, someone, you know, who has been. Diploma, a degree, but more so, you know, just have common sense, have morals, you know, you just pick up on certain things as you go, you know, okay. something that's in you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see what sure. the dog wants. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. sure. So, you know, when it comes to me and my female acquaintances, yeah, I... <laughs> I'm a very honest individual, and that's really like my number one thing. Um, it's honesty. Don't hide nothing from me, because if I find out in the tail end that you're keeping a secret from me, I'm probably just gonna dead the situation. Probably not gonna give you a chance to explain because at the, yeah. at the beginning I told you like, hey, I'm real big on honesty. I'm real big on loyalty. I'm real big on respect, and. And love, you know, um, I give love and um, I'll be a reciprocator. Um, What's an ideal mate look like? So an ideal mate? Yeah. Of course, 
I always tell everybody that it has to be somebody that I can wake up to every morning. Um, so what's ideal to somebody else may not be ideal to me, you know, but it's just something that I have to be comfortable with waking up every morning to. Yes, I do have looks when it comes to, I do have standards when it comes to looks, but as long as I feel like I'm comfortable waking up to it, that's all that matters to me. Um, but like I say, those are my biggest turn off really is honesty. Like, okay. don't lie about your ex, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's, real. that's actually nah, how facts. we ended up doing this video is because <laughs> they were having a conversation and he was like, <laughs> if you find out something, then he filed for divorce the next day. Not even that you messed around on him, but just that you were dishonest about a situation. He was like, yo, even with my wife, I'm filing for divorce the next day. I was like, yo, we got to talk about this. Nah, yeah. fact. <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. Like, yeah. It's true because, yeah. like, I'm a straight shooter. If you yeah. ask me something, whether it's going to hurt your feelings or not, because you asked me, I'm going to tell it to you. Mm -hmm. And because the reason is behind that is that gives you the opportunity to decide whether you want to deal with me or not continuing on. And that's just how I feel about life. Like, give that person a decision. Mm -hmm. Don't lie and lead them <clears> on <throat> for a long period of time. And then it's like, oh, man, well, now we kind of like stuck here in this situation. Okay. You know? Um, okay. <clears throat> I, got a, I, got a, I got a few more questions. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be on here too long, but I got a few more questions. We can do a part two. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. Domino. What's up? What is... I know you, you've been around for this, this kind of question before. What is the lowest amount of money that a woman can make for you to take her serious in a relationship? For me, for me to take her serious in a relationship. Honestly, I've, I've always been a breadwinner. Okay. So, yeah. I really, I really don't like really pay attention to how much she make with finances because I'm taking okay. care of everything. But I feel Ooh. like, you know, but I feel like, you know, I like that. <laughs> for sure, like, for real, like, real men, you know, we already taking care of, we providing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They wanna, we want to provide and protect. As long as she's holding it down at the crib and, you know, she's doing what she's supposed to do yeah. and represent me correctly. You know what I mean? So, so basically, you don't have to make any money for him. Nah, he cool. Not really. He nah, good. For real. All right, yeah. PJ? So being a scientist, you know, finishing a doctorate, all that different type of stuff, I always made, you know, a significant amount of money. I ain't gonna tell yeah. you how much, it ain't gonna be bid. Yo, so uh, he is a scientist, yeah. by the way. He is a scientist, okay, <laughs> just um, be clear. So when it came to finances, I really don't count them um, when it comes to somebody when I love them. Now, is the thing that I get is sometimes you can love somebody too much and then you forget that things need to be reciprocated at the end of the day. And my reciprocation really is from a significant other is acts of service. It's never really money. So like, I don't really be caring how much the woman actually makes. Um, but if I'm making all the money, then I do expect you to do certain things around the house. You know, um, if we have kids, I don't expect to come home and my kids saying, Daddy, Dad, I'm hungry, I ain't ate all day. She just holding she hold the crib that. down. You know, For sure. like now mm -hmm. if you are going to work, cool. Mm -hmm. I understand. You get tired. We all human. But if I'm still paying the majority of the bills, you're gonna have to pick and choose your poison. Okay. At the end of the day. And I know <laughs> pick and choose your poison is a, not a, probably a good analogy, yeah. but um, <laughs> I'm a country boy, so we say certain things in certain <laughs> ways. Like I say, I'm a straight shooter. Um, but so, like, finances is not really uh, a big thing, especially if we're committed to each other. So, and I already knew kind of like what his mindset is about it, because me and him have had conversations plenty of times. But he also <clears throat> was like, he wants a housewife, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you I don't. Too? I think, I'll be honest, I really feel like I think every man has that mentality of like, hmm. you know, wanting a housewife. You know, something, something. I don't, something, know. Uh, you don't, I don't you know, I, 
I gotta say this. So what? you know, <laughs> yes, I did want that ideally years ago. Oh, you did want it. You I changed. Did. I did want that ideally <laughs> years ago. No, you don't want a house. You don't want a houseway. No. I- like, I'm so, talking about like, like in the long run, like yeah, when we like, oh. No, 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 like, no, we talking about what, no, we're talking Oh, you talking about, about right now? Like, like, right now, like, oh, right now. Oh, right. Next, like, next year. I don't think you're talking about like for the long run. So, I did want a housewife a mm-hmm. long time ago because those are things that I seen growing up. Um, And yes, in a perfect situation, yeah, that could be work for me. But in the recent world, I've noticed that that's probably not the best way to go about things <laughs> with women in our generation. Um, only because I've seen that a lot of women in our generation don't really have a whole lot to offer mm. Mm. men that. Oh, I'm clipping this. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, they know, okay, I don't mind saying that. <laughs> I've seen that a lot of women don't oh, really have man. too much to offer the way it's like, okay, well, Sorry, why are man. you just being a housewife? You know, because um, I've seen it where I have taken care of everything. Mm-hmm. And those same scenarios, ain't nothing done at the house. It's like, well, mm. what are you here for? Mm. That's like, crazy. Mm. I got I to gotta get off. Cook my food, clean, and you just gonna sit here and do nothing. Nah, I don't mm. work like that. Yeah, you know like, like that. so, yeah, yeah, so like that. just to be clear, are you saying because I, I told that modern no, women uh, uh, don't have much to offer? No, I'm not saying. I said some of them, um, uh, and some of them, yeah. because like I told one one mm. one chick before, I said in that case I could just hire hire a maid. True, <laughs> you know because. It'd be It'll be true, true. true. It, it would be cheaper. For, exactly. It would have been cheaper for me to yeah. hire the maid because mm-hmm. I'm single. Yeah. Um, I don't need her to clean up every time, every day. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I can eat out every day if I wanted to, which most of the time I do. Um, I only I grill on the weekends. Yeah. Like that's about it. Like um, so if you're gonna be a housewife, I expect you to be. A housewife, like I grew up watching, mm-hmm. as far as being a housewife. Mm-hmm. Fast. Food okay. was ready. Okay. Rooms were clean. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Kids Everything. was good. Kids were straight. Yeah. Like and outside and outside of the house, you know, she's a good reflection. Yeah, a good like, reflection of. Yeah, she's a good reflection. Oh, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And, 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 Got your back. And I like this is exactly Facts. some kind of bills Stop. need to be paid. You go make the money, and she make sure. Yeah. I, that those things is taken like, care of. Responsible. Right. Like, right. Yeah. I'd be like, hey, look, here go my checkbook. I know people don't use checkbooks no more, <laughs> but this is what I seen growing up. Yeah. But like, I can give them my card and be like, hey, just go take care of that. You know, I got to go to work. And it'd be done. Mm-hmm. And I ain't got to be like, well, you know, I spent the money on mm-hmm. this instead of that. Yeah. Like, no. Explain it to me when I get home because you've already read yeah. through it. And, not and like, I don't have to go read through it because you already exactly. just just exactly. informing me exactly. you took care of this business. Yeah. So you need to be competent. Okay? Okay, Thanks. I get that. I get that. <clears throat> All right. So, Domino, age that you <laughs> plan on settling down. So age, age. I'm in my twenties, I'm young. You know, okay. I'm still living life as far as like yeah. exploring things. Um I would say I can't I can't put an age on it, honestly. Mm-hmm. I really can't. Until I'm like where I really want to be as far as my endeavors and my businesses that I have going on right now, I really don't see me settling down because that's me mm-hmm. taking my time and my energy putting it to somebody else. So which I don't have a lot of time and energy for. And look, cuz, like he ain't got time for you. No, I don't. <laughs> he really got don't, time for man. you for I'm, real. He's chasing his money right he now. He got time for you for real. I uh, respect it. Can you uh, respect that? You mm-hmm. should. He got time to play. He trying to get his money. He ain't trying to settle down right now. How old are you? I'm 28. 28. Yeah. 28 year old, getting money. He ain't, try, he ain't really trying to settle down. So ladies, you got to understand, <clears> this, is <throat> where, this is what guys is really thinking right now, okay? Cuz, what about you? When you plan on settling down? Man, that's a big question to be real with you. Mm. I really don't have an age. When it comes to settling <laughs> down, like, it's just the timing just got to be right and the person got to be right. Um, 
I can yeah. settle down tomorrow with the right person. Mm. You know? Okay. Or <laughs> that don't mean that I'm gonna settle down with you tomorrow. <laughs> he ready to settle down with you tomorrow. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's a hypothetical. Get in his DM. <laughs> no, no, please. I probably won't even else. Meet me in person. I'm I'm that type of person. Like we gotta I'm not a social media yo, dater. Yo, that's um, crazy. Which is probably a different you yeah. know topic for another day. I'm old fashioned. We gotta meet a person. Mm-hmm. click and be like oh yeah i yo, give you my number you give me your number with yo, let's just set up a speed day exercise now that i think that'll go crazy we used to do that and go, um, that'll go crazy we used to i want to do it for youtube yeah oh okay yeah you know um, and we yeah. do some of you so you know young men and some you know interested parties you feel me so age facts, is not facts. really a factor with me settling down mm-hmm. um it's like i said it's really about timing and the person um yeah, and that's really it when it comes to me and and settling down. But like I said, I'm not gonna settle down with no anything, and <clears> I, <throat> and I'm not gonna chase you. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, those chasing days of women, which I never really had, because, <laughs> like I was in a, a a real popular fraternity. You know, everybody remember um, familiar with Q Dogs. If you went to college, you know what I'm saying. I played sports all over the world. Yeah, like I made. A significant figure of money, like yeah, we're from a very popular family. family. Like chasing is really like, I probably I probably count on one hand how many girls I probably have gave <clears> multiple <throat> attempts. So I'm not really into that. It's like either we doing this or we ain't. If we not, hey, so be it. I want y'all to hear this. I'm gonna go about mine. No hard feelings. It's still all up. You know? yeah. So, so, you, so you're not trying to waste any time, basically. You ain't even up here. Nah, fat. So, I don't think any guys facts. is really trying to waste any time, especially guys in their caliber. You know, they're not really trying to waste no time with y'all. So, you know, I'm just, I just want y'all to see this. Okay, I know what's going on. And plus, I've seen some of y'all baby daddies. Man. Oh, <laughs> that's. It's Bruh, crazy. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. If that nigga ain't changed. Oh, that's your man. <laughs> Listen, man. Hey, nah, see, nah, see, like, I want y'all to understand. Like, seriously, no, seriously. Guys know what other what kind of other guys is outside, right? Facts. So you know they know you can't hide from you know what you did in the dark. And <laughs> you know. and it's a saying too. Now the first time you mess up, it's a mistake. The second time you mess up, it's a choice. And a lot of y'all got more than one baby daddy. So, remember that. Yeah. And, been, and to me, I mean, I'd say it's not even necessarily just even baby daddies, right? Because, like, they might have been in just a long, like, relationship <clears throat> with, right, with right, guys right. who just mistreated them over mm-hmm. and over. And they got, like, a, a kind of thing. I know, I know a chick, uh, she's been in, like, five different ab- abusive relationships. Now, you can't necessarily figure out if you're, you're going to be in an abusive relationship, but she's, it's something that is being, it's some kind of, it's something about it. Like, well, she thought that that was normal. I'm saying that, to be in a relationship. That, but that is when we get into psychology and trauma yeah. and stuff like that, which, right. you know, mm-hmm. ain't none of that certified really did. <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. But, right. but like, it, it's something about that, that, um, that she takes into the next relationship, yeah. right? And so she she's expecting and uh, this thing when she meet a guy who is not going to do that, but she yeah. still treats him <clears throat> as though, you know, you know, you know uh, emotion. She want to hear him face, first. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she want to hear him first. Your, you know, you emotion know. clouds your judgment. Yeah. So, yeah. So, like, that's, a, that's another topic. You know, you bring but, a whole lot of emotional baggage yeah. with, you know, that, mm-hmm. that trauma. It continues to build on. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people just need to heal. And yeah. being like somebody who has healed from certain situations, that's why I say I have no nonsense for stuff that I've already seen before and be like, bro, I ain't dealing with that. I'm just mm-hmm. being real with you. Like, cause nice. I've got all the tools that I need. You know? Now it's really just like the Bible says, you need a help me. Now you need a help me if you got if you got the tools that you need, you know? Mm-hmm. Um and that's that's really it. Okay, okay. All right, so Domino says not planning on settling down anytime soon. Cuz said, hit him in the DM. Mm-hmm. He ready to settle <laughs> no, down. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do, that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do it. Do it. Please do it. But uh, Cuz said he uh he down to settle down. If he meet you tomorrow and you the one, 
he'll run away with you. So, you know, so I, I, I can dig it. Um, he is looking for a housewife. He is, he used to be looking for a housewife, but he realized that. No, I would still you, you like got, a housewife. It ain't a lot of housewife but material out here. Housewives out here. So, um, I think this is all very fascinating, and uh, I appreciate y'all for coming on here, but um, Domino, you had a question. You said, this is about the body count. Oh, man. Wait, wait, first of all, what's too many? Too many? What's too many guys for a chick to have been with? (laughs) <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh yeah. man! What's too many? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, what's too many for if me? She for, said, for yo, if she said yo, if she said yo, I've been with three people. Three people, not hanging. No, no, I'm just saying. Okay, okay. Said, yo, I've been with okay three like, people. and then. Uh, right, so listen, 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 listen. Okay. Honestly, I look at it like this. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna say this, then I'm gonna give you the number. It ain't. I'm, I'm gonna say, how did you get them bodies? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. cause she can say she got three bodies, right? <laughs> but what if she got all at the same time? Like they just ran it, you know. Oh, did all at the same time, you know? I'm be like, damn, oh. like, Talk about how, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, <laughs> how did how did that how did they get to that? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, but she like, said she at say, the same time. Yeah, like oh. what? Like okay. Not, this is a, I'm gonna say a real number like ten, like you know, oh. like if she got oh. ten at the same time or whatever. Ten like, at the same time, bro. He's like, no, bro. It's twenty-two degrees. It's crazy. It's, it's no, I mean, three, bro. three at the same time is crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, bro, listen, like, bro, come on. This twenty twenty-three. Let's go be real now. Like this shit is <laughs> happening. Somebody doing it. No, no, somebody, yeah, somebody doing, doing, doing it. Yeah. it. But if you meet the one that's doing it, <laughs> oh lord, well I'm not number. I'm probably number eleven. But I ain't going to be that number 11 that take it serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. So, but, look, but listen. Okay. But listen, on the real though, on the okay. real though, listen. So she said, what a, well, okay, what's the most? For me, for me to okay. take you serious, I just feel like. What's the most? The most. Yeah. Why do you have over 30 bodies? 30 is his number. Why do you have over 20? Ladies, say, yeah. 30 yeah. is his number. If you yeah, have over 30. 30. If to me. Feel, if you slept with over 30 guys, he questioning what we doing. Yeah. He want to know. I, I yeah. think this is fascinating. Okay, cuz? Um, I really think it depends on your age, too. Yeah, facts. 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 Only because mm. I can't be a hypocrite. You know, <laughs> in certain situations, <laughs> I can't be a hypocrite. <laughs> nah, I don't want nobody to die out here to get Trains, and I, oh. I clarified it. Trains. It's not a threesome. <laughs> it's a train. Trains <laughs> ran Oh, on. man. Oh, Listen. Because I've seen some of these girls get married. That, <laughs> that uh, we hey. know. Hey. That train hey. ran out of Oh, my <laughs> God. I don't think the oh husband be knowing. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't calling no man. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I got to tell you guys. That's like snitching. I got to tell you guys, like, how, I guess, I don't even know exactly how this conversation came up. <laughs> But, you know, the clever way for a guy to find out if if a woman has had, yeah. I don't want to say it, a, a train, train ran on a train. A train. It's a train. Bro, it's a train, bro. Like, <laughs> let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> but, but he ain't going to say, it's hey, have you ever had a train? It ain't group sex. It ain't no thing. Oh, my God. It ain't none of that. Right. He go, <laughs> they say, nah, they, oh, I can't say that. Oh, you, I mean, you said it. It's cool. So, right. but he's not going to say, you know, <laughs> Domino. He ain't gonna say, "Hey, have you ever had a train ran on you?" He ain't gonna say that. He said, "Hey, you know, you ever had a threesome? Like how? Like two guys or two girls or how you?" Facts. And she said, "Oh, I probably been with two guys before." Then in the back of his mind, train. That's what's in the back of his mind. He just ain't gonna say it, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's why he said, "No, we call him." Yeah. See, I'm gonna ask you, have you ever had a train ran? <laughs> but bro, you, I thought like they gonna lie if you ask like a train. See, like, see, that's what I'm saying. saying. You can't. They gonna ask you that because you gonna say train. That's, that's, but see, that's the good that. part about. My my theory, not my theory, but my moral of okay. Once they lie to me and I find out that you have ran had a train ran on you, <laughs> but what if they don't know that what that's what a train is? Right. What if they think a train right. is a line of dudes lined up, and then they think a, a threesome is different? So good thing I can explain things <laughs> very well. <laughs> he gonna explain what it means. <laughs> a train oh, is <laughs> you and your father. <laughs> Or it ain't even gotta be your partner, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I mean, that situation, like it was wild. Me and some of these people didn't even know each other. It was like, bro, hey, yo, this is the best. <laughs> this is the best. 
<laughs> this is the best video. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Listen. what? <laughs> I should call that Tales of a Q Dog, you know what I'm saying? But, oh um, okay. But, you know, that one at the front, one at the back. Oh, Lord. Like a train. You, know you know what? what I'm facts, facts. You know what? <laughs> we yeah. gotta definitely change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta change the subject. <laughs> Yo, what? Oh, <laughs> this is, man. This is with a whole nother level. Yeah. But, hey, so basically, the whole point is God, He don't want nobody with 30 bodies. He don't. He ain't really said a number because he said it depends, it depends on your on age. age. But yeah, the age, you know, what kind of activities you was into. I don't expect an angel. As far as like, because I'm 31, don't get me wrong. But honestly, good women who hop in and out of relationships and mess with multiple guys, let's just say like, if a woman's like, well, you know, I was in a relationship a year ago, right? And I know I'm going to get criticized by this because who are you to say what a woman should be doing when they ain't getting in and out of a relationship or how many people they sleep with but I like I said we have to give our time ourselves time to heal okay. um, and women are actually being penetrated mm. so it's, it, it's different it's like um, electricity uh, electrical socket right if I take this male in of electric socket and I plug it in to the female end of electric electrical socket. I bring out energy. Um and so this male end is going to this female end, which means this female end is, is absorbing a lot of the energy. So you know what? He just gave me a perfect idea for the next question. Coming in and out of <laughs> pause. <laughs> Well, yo, yo, <laughs> we're coming in. Yo, wow. I think okay. like, if a I woman have, having more than three to five sexual partners a year, it's kind of, kind okay. of real wicked. You okay, know okay. Now, the, now, that's why I said he gave me a perfect idea for the next uh, segue, the next question. The question is, is it different for men and women? Is it more acceptable so. for men to be with more women than women to be with guys? Me personally, I think so because I feel like women are on a higher caliber than men. You know what I'm saying? I put on not caliber. I put on a higher pedestal okay. because, like I said, like you you can bring a child into this world. You know what I mean? Like mm. you know, okay. men, we you know we can we can help reproduce, but as far as yeah. like a woman, I just put them on a higher pedestal. Yeah. So it's like I, when you do these things that devalue yourself. I don't know if you know it, but it's not gonna go over well. <laughs> it is what it is. It's true. A lot of people say it. Because you shouldn't have as much. Let, you know, as you, it's you, you can't have as much sexual partners as guys because you can have children, and so. I mean, I love what you say. Listen, I love no, what you say. Yeah, yeah. I just know they gonna look at it and be like, "What? <laughs> really? Listen, really?" But he's giving y'all a compliment. He's saying you have more power than we do to right. choose how many people you want to Facts. be. Facts. You can walk outside and say, "I'm ready to do it," and then people line up. If Domino go outside and say. I'm ready to do it. They're going to lock them up. They're going to lock them up. Right. right. It's so... Like, <laughs> it's creepy. The, a man, listen, it's like this. Honestly, a man can go in the club. A man can go in the club. Ask 10 women, let's go fuck right now in the bathroom. You know what I mean? Probably might get one. Maybe even that. One. <laughs> out of those 10. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how he is and you know how it go. Yeah. But a woman, I guarantee you, like at least 8 out of 10, if not all 10 of them going. So guys can get one out of ten, this women can get eight out of ten. We don't need to go do no research on this. So we know this though. We know this already. This. They already know. <laughs> yeah, we know that. Like, no, no, like, no, 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 it should be equal yeah. out here. They should be able to do whatever they nah, want to do. It's too easy. no, 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 yeah. It is a double let's standard. Just, let's just it be is. realistic, people. Let's and let's just accept the, the double standard, accept right? Double standard. Let's accept it. It's, it it's a double it standard. Ladies, you cannot do what men can do. No. And guess no. what? I think, um, what it was? And men can't. right? She said, she got a song that says, um, girls can't do what the guys do and still be a lady. If, 
Some of y'all probably ain't never heard it, but your mamas and your grandmas probably heard it. Go yeah. listen to it and yeah. go go listen to what she yeah. had to say yeah. in that song. And for the record, I am not necessarily agreeing with what they're saying. Okay, I just want to stay neutral here. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying that this is what guys think. <laughs> Man, I'm not really man, saying, saying anything. Man, thoughts. <laughs> right, right. He's just got thoughts, Facts. right? Facts. All right, so I, all right, we can wrap up now. You want to tell them where they can find you? Um, uh, not really. <laughs> like I said, if you find me in person, you find me. Hit him up on social media. What's your Instagram? You gotta tell me what your Instagram is for. Like, you know, you gonna start a YouTube okay. channel and stuff, man? What I've been supposed to start. Actually, I did start a YouTube channel, but I just ain't. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but um. My Instagram is TQQ underscore short. So it's TQQ <coughs> underscore short. Um, I don't really respond well to DMs, and it's a private Instagram, so I have to accept you to follow you. So follow him, and then he'll see your profile, and then you can follow him. Yeah. And he'll follow you back if he's like, oh, what's this thumbnail? And y'all can find me at Domino Effect. D O M I N O E F F E K T underscore on Instagram. Yeah, and these okay. is my real blood cousins, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So okay. I'm at symbol K I N G C A S I N O N the number one. Uh, I should definitely set up that speed, you know, introduction. Oh, yeah, man. That'll be dope. I say, I say you should do it. And, yeah. you know, you know I, I'm always yeah. entertaining. <laughs> anyway, um, you guys can uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. You find any value in this video? I don't know. I don't know if you find any value. Find some value in this video. We do a part two. Yeah, matter of fact, comment too if you find any value in this video. Well, tell us what y'all want to hear. Right? Yeah, yeah. Say you know if you want on another topic. Some you know questions. what I'm saying? Anyway, right now you are watching Casino is the name. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and we out. I was always focused on the money. I started with nothing. I was born to be an entrepreneur. I'm a real estate investor. Had my own truck and authority. Multiple college degrees. Ex-military. I'm an author. Motivational speaker. Not to mention I'm an accountant. But with all the things that I've done, it was government contracts that truly made me rich. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the Name, and if you wanted to know how I started my trucking business, I have an ebook called Big Shot, Hot Shot, Volume 1, Own Your Trucking Authority. It's a great book, five-star reviews. The link will be in the description below. Go get that. Yeah. Beat me up, Scott. Beat me up, Scott. Me and her together, we just call it up. Money on my mind, I can't get enough. Don't play with my money, you don't want no beef. Cause I come from the bottom, I come from the street When she first saw me, she said, who is that? When a man saw me, he called me a threat I'm the one that really did what a rap They ain't never did it, they ain't really trapped Say so you want to be successful, but what's stopping you? Can't nothing stop you from being successful except for you. You standing in your own way. I came from the bottom. I ain't know nothing but the grind. You can't tell me nothing about that. I called the Bustin' Basin Street Projects in Tallahassee, Florida. You hear me? I used to think a million dollars would last me my whole life. I'd have made that and spent that. A million dollars ain't enough. What's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the name. And if you find any value in these videos, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned.
Yeah, hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.